Hello, fellow aliens. This is not an episode of Earthlings 101, the crash course for alien visitors, but a video response to an Earthling video about a spinning disc. As most of you are used to voyage inside spinning discs, you might find this interesting. The Earthling video shows a disc with an eccentric hole, spinning vertically on the ground. The funny thing is that the heavy side of the disc turns upwards, seemingly defying gravity. Why does this happen? Now, before you try this for yourself, if you have one of those fancy frictionless piloting consoles, it won't work there. Better try on a rough surface, as friction plays an important role in the effect. Actually, this effect is based on the three basic rules of saucer physics. For those of you who don't remember their saucer piloting lessons, here a quick reminder. The first rule of saucer physics says that a saucer will always spin around its center of mass. So, if you abduct a herd of cows, and store them all on one side of the saucer, the spinning axis will be somewhere between the geometrical center and the cows. That's why you always check your cargo distribution before lifting off. The second rule of saucer physics says that when the saucer scrapes horizontally over the ground, it will have the tendency to tip over. That's why you always land vertically. And finally, the third rule of saucer physics says that when you incline the spinning saucer into one direction, it will have the tendency to roll sidewards. This is called precession, and every saucer pilot is painfully aware of it. This is why you stop spinning before you maneuver or land. Now, imagine a saucer pilot who had too much agitarian brandies, so he becomes careless. He lands on earth with a herd of cows on one side of the saucer, and he forgets to extend the landing gear. What happens when he lands? Well, the point where the saucer will touch the ground will not be below the center of mass. If the saucer is not spinning, the saucer will just tip over. But now suppose that the saucer is spinning. The first rule of saucer physics says that it will spin around its center of mass. That means, when it lands, the contact point with the ground will scrape over the ground in a circle. Now, the second rule says that the friction on the ground will make the saucer tip, and the third rule says that this tipping moment will create a precession effect which makes the saucer turn sidewards instead of tipping, in this case such that the center of mass goes upwards. So, the cows will move upwards, not downwards, but back to the spinning disc, it's basically the same thing, only without the cows and the saucer, the disc rotates around its center of mass, so, unless it's in a perfectly symmetrical position, the lowest point scrapes in a circle over the ground, which creates a tipping torque, which is just what the precession effect was waiting for, to turn the heavy side of the disc upwards. This happens continuously until the center of mass is above the contact point with the ground. By the way, humans have a toy called Tippy Top which basically works the same way. That's, in a nutshell, the reason why a, the disc turns heavy side up, and b, why saucer pilots should go easy on Sagittarian brandy. Thanks for watching.